Breaking news tonight, major developments in the presidential race as Republican Ted Cruz says he's dropping out and Democrat Bernie Sanders speaks to a large crowd in Louisville. How Lexington police tonight honored a young boy who was badly injured in a shooting last year. There is no mistaking the sights and sounds of New Orleans. Tonight we're in the Big Easy going behind the scenes of one of CBS's most popular shows based right here. WKYT News starts now with breaking news. Good evening to you. A major shakeup tonight in the Republican race for president. Ted Cruz has announced he is dropping out of the race. This comes after Donald Trump easily won the primary in Indiana and Democrat Bernie Sanders earned a win there as well. Weijia Jang has the breaking details. CBS News projects Donald Trump won the Indiana Republican primary. The chairman of the Republican National Committee said Trump will be the presumptive nominee and called on the party to unite behind him. We're going after Hillary Clinton. She will not be a great president. She will not be a good president. She will be a poor president. For Ted Cruz, the loss in Indiana was one too many. Cruz suspended his campaign. From the beginning, I've said that I would continue on as long as there was a viable path to victory. Tonight, I'm sorry to say, it appears that path has been foreclosed. Trump had kind words for the rival he called Lion Ted. He is one hell of a competitor. He is a tough, smart guy. And he has got an amazing future. Ohio Governor John Kasich came in a distant third here, but his campaign says he's staying in the race. In the Democratic primary, Bernie Sanders upset frontrunner Hillary Clinton. Clinton is looking ahead to the general election, asking for donations to help defeat Trump. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Indianapolis. Also breaking tonight, Lexington police are on the scene of a bad crash involving a motorcycle. It happened just about before 10 along South Upper Street near Limestone. Investigators say the person on the motorcycle was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Lexington police have called in their crash reconstruction unit to investigate. Part of Upper Street is closed in that area. Now, not far from there, UK police have just issued an alert about an armed robbery that just happened near Memorial Hall. Keep checking WKYT.com and the WKYT News app for updates on all of that. Now to the weather, and it looks like more rain is on the way tomorrow. Yeah, and we could even see a few storms. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has an early look now at your forecast. Hi, guys. Some chilly rains at that on the way for our Wednesday and Thursday. Speaking of chilly today, those thermometers struggling to get to 60 degrees. Right now, we're holding into the low and mid 50s into most areas. Some of us seeing a little light shower out there this evening. One lone little shower moving out of Menifee County into parts of Morgan County, maybe a sprinkle here into Bath County. We look to the north, though, from around the Sadieville area, just to the north of Stamping Ground into parts of Harrison County. Grant Owen County is picking up on a little bit of light rain as well. We go through the day tomorrow. First half of the day, we're going to catch some dry times in there. Then the second half of the day rolls around. Showers, thunderstorms will increase. And temperatures will drop quickly as well. So, tomorrow, Mother Nature gives you a little head fake to start the day with some sun, and then it goes downhill quickly. Courtesy of this cold front that is marching its way toward the Chicagoland area as of now. It has plenty of chilly air coming in behind it that has ugly weather written all over it for the bluegrass state as we go into the day on Wednesday. From there, it is all eyes on your Kentucky Derby weekend. The updated forecast, which includes the hour by hour at 11 13. We will see you then, Chris. Thank you. As we mentioned earlier, Bernie Sanders defeated Hillary Clinton in Indiana's Democratic primary. And before the results were announced, Sanders spoke to a large crowd gathered tonight in Louisville. Kentucky's primary is in two weeks. Garrett Weimer has more on what Sanders told the voters tonight. Many lined up early for a good spot to see Senator Sanders. I really want to meet him. I'm trying my best to meet Bernie Sanders, and I want to get a selfie with him. <laughs> and they didn't shy away from showing they feel the burn. We got the pin going. We have Bernie feel the burn and the flag. So, <laughs> and Senator Bernie Sanders. Sanders finally took the stage around 7:30. Sanders spoke for nearly an hour covering topics ranging from the economy to health care to immigration 
and yes to Donald Trump. The American people will not elect a candidate who insults every group that you can think of virtually every day. Sanders says his campaign is about starting a political revolution and fixing what he calls a rigged economy during a push for immigration reform that includes a path to citizenship. There are 11 million undocumented people in this country, and I have talked. I have talked to many of them. All right, there's one right here. Two men who claimed to be undocumented immigrants came down from their spot in the risers behind Sanders and joined him at the podium for a hug. Viva Bernie! Sanders closed by urging Kentuckians to vote for him on May 17th. In Louisville, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. And he's not through in Kentucky. Sanders scheduled to hold a rally in Lexington tomorrow night at Heritage Hall. Doors open at 4 o'clock. Now, former President Bill Clinton spent the day campaigning for his wife Hillary across the state. He started the day with a rally at Moorhead State University before making stops in Lexington and Louisville. In Lexington, he spoke at a rally on the University of Kentucky campus. He said if elected, Hillary Clinton would help make student loans more affordable. Pay it out over 20 years at a fixed income, never more, no matter how much you borrowed, than 10% of your after-tax income. Now, think what this means. This would mean... Everybody can move out of their parents' house. And while on the U.K. campus, former President Clinton took a tour of the U.K. basketball locker room. And as you can see here, here he met with Coach John Calipari, who posted this picture on his Facebook page. Tonight, investigators are still trying to figure out what caused a fire that destroyed a large Scott County home. The fire started late this morning in the home on Browns Mill Road. Firefighters say there wasn't much they could do to save the home. No one was injured in the fire, but neighbors say a dog was killed. Investigators are also looking into whether the fire is connected to three other house fires in the last week in Jessamine and Garrett counties. Police have said those three cases are arsons. Tonight, a former Franklin County constable has been indicted in connection to a prostitution ring. Investigators say Thomas Banta was running the operation out of his home and his private security business in Frankfurt. They say men would pay Banta to have sex with women. He was indicted for promoting prostitution, kidnapping, and impersonating a peace officer. Police say Banta and one of his employees, Dre Valentine, also posed as police and interrogated a 17-year-old for hours after claiming he stole a safe. And as in jail, police are still looking for Valentine. New tonight, newly released court records claim former state personnel secretary Tim Longmire arranged for illegal campaign donations to be made to two Democrats in last year's election. According to our news partners at the Herald Leader, the donations were made to Andy Bashir, who was elected attorney general, and Jack Conway, who lost the governor's race. Investigators say the money came from a kickback scheme Longmire was involved in. But the FBI says there's no evidence showing that Bashir and Conway knew the donations were illegal. Longmire pled guilty to bribery last month and will be sentenced in August. New tonight, rapper 50 Cent has apologized for mocking a worker at the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky Airport. In a video that went viral, the rapper accuses the worker, Andrew Farrell, of being high on drugs. But Farrell's family says he's dealing with autism and social anxiety. In a letter sent to the family tonight, 50 Cent said the incident stemmed from a, quote, unfortunate misunderstanding. He also asked the family to accept his apology. The family released a statement tonight saying they would do that. He was badly injured in a shooting last year, but since then, a 10-year-old little boy has come a long way in his recovery. Family members say that Antonio Reese still suffers from some complications. Tonight, he received the Citizen Courage Medal from Lexington Police. Monique Blair has the story new at 11. After he was shot in the head last year while riding in his family's SUV, then only nine years old, Antonio Reese didn't give up. Antonio was in a coma for 18 days, and he truly had to fight to come out of that coma. Because without fighting and the power inside of him, he wouldn't be here anymore. Antonio has undergone five brain surgeries, and he had to relearn everyday tasks that many people may take for granted. But through it all, he persevered and stayed strong, earning him this Courage and Bravery Award. The high honor presented at the annual Lexington Police Department Awards Banquet is reserved for one exceptional person who has inspired others by demonstrating extraordinary strength and courage. After Antonio received his award, he was welcomed as everyone in the audience stood to their feet. It was a moment that brought many people in the audience 
Antonio's family, and even Antonio. Is here. 14 months have passed since Antonio and his family's lives were changed forever. But his mom tells me they focus on the good that has come from this tragic situation. Grateful for the Lexington Police Department. They get a lot of cases throughout the year, but for them to truly adore and love my son enough to give him this award means more to us than anything, truly. In Lexington, I might give up and keep fighting. Monique Blair, WKYT. Very special emotional night for that young man and his family. People in the community have raised enough money so Antonio will soon be able to have a service dog. <laughs> have you ever wanted to know what goes on behind the scenes of a hit CBS show? In eight minutes, we have your all access pass to NCIS New Orleans. The average teenager sends over 100 text messages a day. But does your son or daughter know how easy it is for their texts to come back to haunt them? The side of texting you rarely think about. Thursday at 6 on WKYT. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. You may be entitled to $1,500 for each call you've received from any company collecting a debt. Seems too good to be true, but it's the law. It's hard to imagine what it will become unless you have been there before. How does this plan become what I had dreamed of? You need the right people to take you from the plan to the place. Design, planning, and building. All under one roof, KBC, creating homes that enrich lives. Life is easy here, and now you can make it even easier with a home equity line of credit from Republic Bank. Even if your mortgage isn't with us, you can get a below prime 2.99% 12-month introductory fixed interest rate with an ongoing variable rate thereafter and no closing costs. Pay off higher loan rates, manage unexpected expenses, or make a home improvement or two. Stop by your nearest Republic Banking Center and talk to an associate today. We're Republic Bank, and it's just easier here. At Hair Win, we've been helping people for 125 years. If you've been injured in a life-changing accident, we can help. Contact us at HelpingKentucky.com. Hair Win. Visit HelpingKentucky.com. 19 pool tables and a full bar. Only at Silver Q on New Circle Road. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. We're just a few days into the month of May, and I'll tell you, May, you got to bring it a little better than this. It is Kentucky Derby Week in the Bluegrass State. We've had rounds of showers and thunderstorms, and oh, yeah, it's chilly out there. Look at the numbers into the low and mid 50s into most of central and eastern Kentucky as we wrap up a day that had thermometers hard pressed on those cars, the back porch, the banks to get to 60 degrees. Where are we now compared to this same point last night? A little chillier. And tomorrow night, when I show you this same temperature map, we're going to be showing numbers that are colder than what we have right now, likely in the 40s at this time tomorrow night. Let's take a little look ahead, show you what we are dealing with. Gusty showers, maybe a rumble of thunder out there today. Chilly temperatures are going to continue across most of central and eastern Kentucky. We have a pattern that as we go into Thursday, later tomorrow and into Thursday, that's going to feature cold air for this time of year going all the way into parts of the deep south. That's an ugly setup. Then we Check out Kentucky Derby weekend and the weather looking better in the temperature department and for the most part precipitation department early on. Defender radar network, a little isolated stuff in the northern, northeastern part of the area, but from here we focus on a cold front that isn't into Chicago just yet. But by tomorrow, middle of the day, guess what's happening? That front is right on top of the Ohio River, so it's going to make up a lot of real estate in a short amount of time. It is blowing into town. You're going to know when that front gets in here. Winds are going to gust up tomorrow, and we're going to see some showers and thunderstorms that will go up into the afternoon. Mentioned a little head fake coming early in the day with some sunshine. Not going to be representative of how the rest of the day goes into the middle of the day especially the afternoon. Temperatures take a little dive into the mid and upper 50s. The threat for some gusty showers and thunderstorms that will carry us into tomorrow evening. Hour by hour, brand new. Let's look at it together. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, upper 40s, 
to low 50s. Little sunshine early. Noontime. Southeastern Kentucky, we're still dry, but look at this band of showers and storms approaching from the northwest. That will continue to work its way through here tomorrow afternoon. Five o'clock, temperatures now dropped into the middle 50s. That little band of some showers and storms may also have some pea sized hail with that to go along with some gusty winds. 11 o'clock tomorrow night, told you it's going to be colder than the mid 50s that we have now, about mid and upper 40s. We go into Thursday. If you have clear skies, you'll hit the upper 30s. If you have some clouds, like this particular model says, you're going to stay in the low 40s and you've got some showers that will be with us again on Thursday. Watch the spin with some of those showers coming at us against the grain northeast to southwest as low pressure begins to exit into the Carolinas. 7 o'clock on Kentucky Derby or Oaks Day, leading us into Derby weekend. 40s by the afternoon, 65 to 70 into most areas. How about Derby Day? Can we keep it dry? Got to ask a cold front to the north to just hold off for a few hours by late in the day on Saturday. That front's going to get close enough to produce some showers and storms, especially northern half of the area. Let's hope it holds off until we go into Saturday night and Sunday to keep Derby Day completely dry. Nonetheless, it's going to be much warmer. 75, 77 on Sunday. We'll be near 80 into the first half of next week. More humidity and a daily threat for some showers and storms. You know who else doesn't want all this rain? Moms on Mother's moms, Day. Moms, of course. We don't want to forget we, about them. How can we forget moms? Got to stretch it on. Listen, moms, unfortunately, you have a better <laughs> chance for some rain on Sunday than they do out oh, at Churchill boy. down Saturday. All right. All right. Just being honest with yeah. us. Thank yeah. you, sir. Well, next, we take you behind the scenes of NCIS New Orleans, and you'll hear from some of the show's stars. Here's a fun way to control your luck. It's a game called Kino. You can start with one buck. You pick your numbers, your odds, and your wager, and the winnings, well, they could be major. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. A few minutes later, you can play it again. Now play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Welcome to Toyota Time. Tons of awesome vehicles. Great deals for everyone. Thanks. Low APR financing. Woo. Here's your balloon. Water. I have the best team. Oh, here I come. Now, during Toyota time, get 0% financing on many of your favorite new Toyotas or get a great low lease deal. For all Toyota offers, go to buyatoyota.com. Here you go. And here I go. Toyota, let's go places. Celebrate Cinco de Mayo at Mi Pequeña Hacienda. Two for one margaritas all day and a live band at both locations. Come celebrate with us. Do you remember free when something came with no strings attached? Today, we've all but forgotten about free from people shouting it out only for us to read the fine print. At UK Federal Credit Union, we're bringing back free in all its glory. Free checking with free checks. A free debit card printed while you wait. Mobile deposit, free. Online bill pay, free. And look, no fine print. Free checking from the University of Kentucky Federal Credit Union. It's banking, only better. When Dad died, Jim came home from college to help save the family business. Jim made a real difference. We grew Gray Construction from a million dollar business to over a billion dollars in sales a year. We built over 900 projects and helped create over 20,000 jobs in Kentucky. I'm Jim Gray and I sponsored this ad because Washington could use Jim's business sense and some good Kentucky common sense to get things done. Jim Gray, Kentucky first. Do you have a dream of exploring the open roads or traveling with family? It's time to get started. And Day Brothers RV in London is home to the largest selection of RVs and travel trainers in Southern Kentucky with brands like Thor, Coachman, Heartland, Fleetwood, and Winnebago. The selection has never been larger and the features have never been more luxurious. Explore in comfort. Explore your way. Explore more options with Day Brothers RV in London. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Murder, the U.S. Navy, and the Big Easy. Put them all together and you get the hugely popular show that is NCIS New Orleans. And you can see it right here every Tuesday night on WKYT. Recently, our cameras were invited to the Crescent City for a behind-the-scenes look at what it's like to get the weekly drama on the air. Tonight, I'm taking you along for your very own all-access pass. Whoever's been watching us has been doing it for a while. The crime drama NCIS New Orleans is unique. NCIS. 
It's shot entirely on location in the Big Easy, making the city the real star. Veteran actor Scott Bakula heads up the cast as Special Agent Dwayne Pride. He says he feels right at home in New Orleans. The people here are fantastic. We're very well received and, and uh, uh, loved around the city from the locals. And then we have all the tourists come in and they all watch the show. So being on a popular show like this, it's uh, we get a lot of attention wherever we go. Bakula and fellow actors like Zoe McClellan put in long hours. It takes eight days working 12 to 15 hour shifts to shoot one episode. I feel like we're really lucky, you know? I mean, to be a spinoff of a show that's done and continues to do so well is, is a gift. The show is based on the real life former special agent Dwayne Swear. He now serves as a technical advisor on the show. We wanted to know what he thinks of the man playing him on TV. I wish I looked so good. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm, I'm touched and honored that uh, you have someone like that that uh, is portraying you. Action. A lot of the show is shot here, a soundstage outside the city where tourists aren't allowed, but our cameras were. Uh, so this uh, is this is the morgue. You Rob Kirkovich plays Sebastian, the quirky lab guy. I named the beast. A serious actor is lab not so serious. This thing, this is the thermoscientific. Don't know what that does. Being on set, it all looks so real, even down to the case files. But it isn't. I know. I looked. The squad room where the agents discuss cases is really the heart of the show. It was built to feel like it was in the middle of the French Quarter. Agent Pride loves to cook, so his kitchen is complete with Creole flair. And walk into his bar, and you think you're on Bourbon Street. As you know, things on set are not always as they appear. I'm here in the courtyard for NCIS New Orleans. It's always beautiful. It is always sunny, but check this out. There's really no sun here. In the morgue, we found CCH Pounder, who plays Dr. Loretta Wade. She's asked most often about how you get to play dead on her table. You have to die. And that could be pretty awful. You could be like in the swamps for a couple of days, covered in mud, and we will make you look like you've been there for a couple of days, and you may have to lie there still for quite a few hours. So a lot of people think like, oh, I'm going to be an NCIS. I'm going to play a dead body. Ten minutes. No. Not so glamorous. It's not huh? glamorous <laughs> at all. And while the show's storylines might be over the top, it's the characters that really tie the show together. I did some pokey poke around. Look what I found. Characters like Patton Plame, the self described feisty computer whiz played by Daryl Chill Mitchell. He's in a wheelchair. It's no prop. Mitchell loves the message it sends to viewers. Just because what you see or a person might have, you know, a difference doesn't mean that they not smart. They can't use their mind or they're not useful. Spoiler alert, you're about to see more of Patton Plame out at crime scenes. They uh, designed me a little. Uh, van, which um, now I'm getting ready to go out on location and start uh, analyzing evidence. The team here at NCIS New Orleans is wrapping up a very successful second season. In pop. Ready to see what the Big Easy throws their way next. And the cast and crew won't have much downtime once the show wraps this season. NCIS New Orleans has already been picked up for a third season. Shooting for it should start sometime in July. One of the show's favorites, Lucas Black, who plays Chris LaSalle, was out on location while we were there, and we didn't get a chance to catch up with him. And by the way, he is the only one in the show with a true southern accent. Sam, he is from Alabama, so he has it down pat for sure. So when you watch the show from now on, it's going to take a oh my totally gosh. different look. Yeah, but. now I'm a fan for life for sure. All right, All right. thanks, Amber. Very good. Well, Katz hosting the Colonels tonight, Rob. Yeah, this game was rained out back in mid-April. They were getting together tonight. EKU and UK will have the highlights. And trainer Dale Romans has been a part of a lot of Kentucky Derbies. This year, he has the Bluegrass winner, Brody's Cause. He really likes him. Stay with us. Sports is next. This. Come on. No. Awesome. No. Too expensive. Cut it out. This is embarrassing. Ah. Come on. Open up. You never let me have any fun. Hey, what about a vacation? At Allegiant.com, we can get a great deal on flights and more, and that's fun. How come most of the time I can't get you to open up? But going on vacation is okay. One word Allegiant. Listen to your wallet and visit Allegiant.com now. Someone else can get them dressed. 
Someone else can push the swing. Someone else can fix their lunch. Someone else can tuck them in. But they don't want someone else. They want you. Get checked for breast and cervical cancer. For information on free screenings, call 1-844-249-0708. Wednesday's Powerball jackpot is $348 million. With a heavy duty welded steel deck, and exclusive smooth track steering, the Hustler Raptor Zero Turn Mower doesn't play around. It's got the power to turn your weekend to-do list into your weekend to-done list. The legendary Hustler Raptor family starting at just $27.99. Tools, not toys. Get your Hustler Mower at Southern States Co-op of London and Valley Farm Equipment in Science Hill. Chimneys are in a constant state of deterioration, and most will leak at some point. We solve this problem. Don't call a roofer to fix your chimney. Call Barnhill Chimney Company today. What we do is not about sickness. It's about living. Because you were made to live, and live well. Let us show you how care is supposed to be. Lexington Clinic. Your doctors for life. Step right up for something fun. For just a buck, the excitement's begun. The game's called Kino, and you can play it in an alley. Or you can play it with your best friend, Sally. You can play it here or there. You could play it almost anywhere. Play with many numbers or just a few. How you play is all up to you. You can put down a little or put down a lot. So what do you say? Give Kino a shot. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. And a few minutes later, you can play it again. Now you can play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Fueling imagination. Funding education. Stanley Steamer is the first carpet cleaning service certified asthma and allergy friendly. It's our new standard of clean. Now get three rooms of carpet cleaned, just $99. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, your certified cleaning service. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Trainer Dell Romans has had several derby contenders over the years. He has never won the race, but with Brody's cause this year, Romans is really upbeat. Brody's cause finished seventh in the Tampa Bay Derby, but then came from behind to win the Bluegrass at Keeneland after being 10 lengths back. Well, you know, he had, he's starting to peak right now. And he, 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 in the, the Bluegrass, he ran so well, and he was going into it doing so good. I don't know that he could have moved forward. But I was hoping he maintains and is good. That's all we need. He's got all the, the factors. He's got the pedigree. He's got the size and confirmation and the look about him. But the biggest thing is he's got whatever great horse has is intelligence. And uh, it's just a very smart horse. He'll let you train on him. He'll let you do what you need to do. And he'll take the cues from his riders. They'll run the Kentucky Oaks Friday at Churchill Downs. And the only daughter of 2009 Oaks winner, Rachel Alexandra, is the favorite. Rachel's Valentina drew the 11 hole today and is the 72 favorite to win. Rachel's Valentina, seen here working along the rail with Stop Charging Maria, was second in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies and second in the Ashland, both at Keeneland. She'll be challenged by Catherine Sophia, who ran third in the Ashland. I'm, I'm real happy with her progression. I think she's going forward. Um, I don't know if she's just getting better or if she's just mad because she got beat, but uh, real happy with where she's at. Kentucky hosting EKU tonight at Cliff Hagen Stadium. It is 2 0 Wildcats here in the third. Javon Shelby officially out of his April long slump. Shelby clubs his fourth home run of the week. Line drive, two run shot, made it a 4 0 game. But EKU rallied to take the lead. And the story of the night Colonels pitcher Chris Cervantes. He goes six innings of one hit shutout ball in the eighth. He gets Tristan Pompey looking to end a UK threat. 
EKU stuns the Wildcats 5-4. Kentucky hosts number eight South Carolina this weekend. John Lamb on the mound for Cincinnati tonight. Buster Posey and Hunter Pence jump on him for back-to-back -back doubles in the first. Pence, the former Lexington legend, driving in the first run of the game. Stayed 1-0 until the bottom of the fifth. That was when Adam Duvall out of Butler High School in Louisville connecting to left center. That's gone. Tied it up 1-1. But in the eighth, still tied, Kelby Tomlinson, ground ball to short. Yvonne DeJesus Jr. had no play infield hit, and the go-ahead run came in. Giants go on to win it 3-1. to one. UK Athletics Director Mitch Barnhart optimistic about the upcoming football season as the Wildcats will try to become bowl eligible this fall for the first time since 2010. Mark Stoops will be entering his fourth season at UK. Barnhart says Stoops has been learning year to year, picking things up as he goes along to become a steady leader. He's learning how to manage those emotions and, and how to be that steady force in, in your staff. The emotions that you show as a assistant coach sometimes have to be different as a head coach. And Mark's feeling his way through that too. You know, and, and, and I appreciate that because as an assistant AD, I was probably a little more, now I'm still a little feisty at that. And I'm not, you know, I'm not immune to that. Football four months off. It will be here before we know it. Stay with us. We'll wrap it up after the break. Does your loved one show signs of nursing home abuse or neglect? Bed sores, broken bones, dehydration, infection, and malnutrition are common signs of abuse. If your loved one has been injured or abused in a nursing home, call Garcia, Artiglair, and Medby. We'd like to help. Hurry to Fazoli's for a fan favorite baked spaghetti. For a limited time, this Fazoli's favorite is only $4.99. Spaghetti with marinara sauce topped with our special blend of cheeses and baked to perfection. And top it with Italian sausage or meatballs for just $1.50 more. Fazoli's! Don? Ned? Trump? Cruz? Congress. Mike Pape. You? Yeah, Mike Pape. Unlike James Comer, who refuses to repeal Obamacare, Mike Pape will repeal Obamacare. And unlike Comer, who's for Obama's amnesty, Mike Pape is against amnesty and will build the wall. Mike Pape is a trusted conservative. He'll make America great again. I'm Mike Pape, and I approve this message. The new Royal Blizzard is a blizzard breakthrough. But what's the science behind the fudge suspended inside? Let's begin. Cross teleportation. Uh oh. Centrifugal force. It's not working. Liquid nitrogen. Lasers. Guys, I actually fill the blizzard with fudge. Science! Experience the all new Royal Blizzard lineup, like the Royal Oreo filled with a vortex of creamy fudge for a blizzard breakthrough. This is fan food, not fast food. Welcome to Toyota Time. Tons of awesome vehicles. Great deals for everyone. Thanks. Low APR financing. Woo. Here's your balloon. Oh. <sighs> Coffee. Soldiers. <sighs> Water. No, no. Mm. I have the best team. Oh, here I come. Now, during Toyota Time, get 0% financing on many of your favorite new Toyotas. Or get a great low lease deal. For all Toyota offers, go to buyatoyota.com. Here you go. And here I go. Toyota, let's go places. It's hard to imagine what it will become unless you have been there before. How does this plan become what I had dreamed of? You need the right people to take you from the plan to the place. Design, planning, and building, all under one roof. KBC, creating homes that enrich lives. If you've been injured in an automobile accident and have legal questions, visit ForThePeople.com to get answers to your questions. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. When you play Kentucky Lottery games like Five Card Cash, college students all over Kentucky are dealt a winning hand. Feeling imagination. Funding education. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. You place your loved one in a nursing home to receive quality care. Unfortunately, nursing home neglect and abuse causes injury and death to innocent victims. If you suspect nursing home abuse, call Garcia, Artiglare, and Medby at 1-844-738-6786. We'd like to help. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. 
The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, less than a minute away here on WKYT. And tonight's guests include Dakota Johnson and Sebastian Stan. Make sure that you do not walk out of the house tomorrow without a jacket. You're going to need it. That's right. An umbrella, too. Even though in the morning you're going to wake up, it's not going to be half bad out, a little sun into the afternoon. The emoji cast. Yep, we got some rain coming into town. Some frowny faces out there and maybe some wet hair. That emoji looks like he's in anguish at noon. Angry, 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 mean emoji. Have a good